Hey everybody, it's chicken salad day. So, what we're doing is putting on our fancy gloves. Why? Because I don't feel like getting chicken under my nails. So what we're doing is we're getting out a piece of our baked chicken that we made the other day. And I will uh, put that recipe up in the corner for you. And I'm just taking off the bone. See? And I like to tear things, so I'm just tearing everything off because there's no use in getting the knife dirty. And making sure that I got all the little bones out. And we're just going to tear the chicken apart. Fun stuff. There's going to be a little bit of, uh, you know, cartilage and whatnot, so just make sure that you get all that stuff out, and then we're just going to throw a little pieces in our bowl. So, and you can make the pieces of chicken as big or as little as you want. I like to make them pretty bite sized obviously, because you don't want to get too big of pieces in there. I want to make it easy to eat. And I even take the skin off of most of it. You know, if you get little pieces of skin in there, that's perfectly fine. Because, you know, some of the pieces of skin are a little bit thinner than others. But, you know, the bigger, fattier pieces of, of skin you don't want in there because, obviously, you don't want to, you know, bite into a big, thick piece of chicken fat when you're eating chicken salad. I mean, some people you might want to, but you know, hey, to each his own, right? Start just shredding up the chicken. And you can see this chicken turned out beautifully, absolutely gorgeous. It's very moist, very tender, very flavorful because of all of that seasoning that we put all over it when we baked it. So yummy! And you'll see that all of the uh, seasonings that I have out, I don't know if you can see all of them, but we have celery salt, paprika, garlic powder, got some pickles, garlic, Dijon mustard, and mayonnaise, and salt and pepper. Uh, we've also got some chopped up celery, that I'm going to throw in there. If you wanted to use um, dill seasoning, like dill weed, you can. But I like to chop up pickles uh, just because it gives it a little more texture. So that's what I like to do. So now that I have my chicken all chopped up or all uh, shredded up or however you want to say it, I'm going to go ahead and take off my chicken gloves and grab some of these pickles and I already drained out some of the pickle juice the other day when I was making my uh, Chick-fil-A copycat nuggets so I don't have to worry about some of the juice being in there. I got my knife. fine as you want. It's up to you. Or you can leave them out because I know some of you guys don't like pickles. Nubs. And if you don't want them in there, you don't have to have them in there. This is just how I make my chicken salad. And I do happen to be making this for my parents. This is how they like me to make chicken salad for them. So again, this is garlic powder. And that's about a tablespoon. Paprika, about the same. Celery salt, about the 
same. And I always hate trying to open these things with nails. It's like getting into full box. Chopped celery. This is minced garlic. I'm using about about a teaspoon because my dad's not a real big fan of garlic but I like to put in enough that it gives it a little bit of flavor but not enough to alert him that there's a whole lot in there <laughs> all right Dijon mustard a couple of teaspoons and this mayonnaise it's almost out so can make some rather rude noises at me. See? So I have to have a backup mayonnaise. We're going to put about a half cup. And just stir that around. It's really easy stuff, guys. Easy, easy, easy. And you want to mix everything up and then put it in the refrigerator to uh, mix all your flavors together and let them marinate and get all nice and friendly and happy together for about 30 minutes or so. And uh, that'll give all the, like I said, give all the flavors a chance to kind of marinate and... Uh, get together and be friends and then you're ready to go. So, chicken salad. Easy stuff. Have fun.